Hey you guys, welcome back for day 14. And today we're gonna be talking about sacrifice. Yeah, drinking my smoothie. Wonder Woman. Ooh, ooh. She's my favorite. Besides Harley Quinn. That's my my split personality. My bad girl is Harley Quinn. My good girl is Wonder Woman. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Um, if you would like to make this shake, I put a little bit of water, some apple juice, blueberries, banana, spinach, um and like the frozen fruit that you can that's already cut up that you can get out of the frozen now uh and it had like mango strawberry and pineapple in there so it's really sweet but it's good um whew. and today's verse is if anyone then knows the good they ought to do and and doesn't do it it is sin for them <laughs> my bad I had, to, I had to look at that real quick like what did this say? yeah and doesn't do it it's sin for them hmm. yeah but I'm getting ready to start this um this little this plan in the Bible verse. Um, it's called. Well, I got a couple of them I need to start. How to forgive someone who's hurt you. Anxiety about money and overcoming spiritual attacks. Those threes I need to do. Um, but sacrifice, sacrifice, that's something that's really hard to do. Nobody, including me sometimes, don't want to make sacrifices. The last sacrifice that I had to do is sacrifice smoking you can judge me whatever you want to do but everybody have their vices some people like to gamble some people like to drink i like to smoke oh uh, i feel like it's not bad i ain't hurt nobody you know I'm just, and I used to be like a chain smoker. I think that's when I was like really depressed and I was like trying to suppress my feelings. Um, but as I started building my relationship with God, I wasn't as sad as much so I didn't crave to smoke that much. But every now and then when I was going through something, I did, you know, go find some weed somewhere and smoke it. And I'm a sleeper. Well, it depends on the weed. Because some weed have me, like, focused. I be drawing and all that other stuff. And then some weed put me straight to sleep. So I guess it just depends on what it is. But... It's kind of like during that time, I just block everything out, regroup my mind, and then come back and go back to grinding and trying to stay focused. But recently, somebody told me that I was mean when I smoked. <laughs> I don't think I'm mean. I just think I'm real blunt. Like, all that 
worried about people's feelings go out the window when I smoke. I don't care if I hurt your feelings or not. Sometimes I might be like, ooh. I just threw that one out there. I didn't even think about that before I said that. But then because I I smoke, I just be like, oh well. They'll get over it. You gonna take my 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 shake? Go get you a cup and you can have some. Don't take my whole shake. Mm -hmm. I can't do it. What is that all over your shirt? You been eating that salsa? I'm sorry, y'all. She just come in here and be distracting me and stuff. Trying to take my drink. Let me get a cup of my sweet. Mm -hmm. Bring me a water. Jeez, I can't never have nothing to myself. Sacrifice. I'm just trying to tell you. I can't never have nothing to myself. Hmm. Yeah. So, somebody told me I was a mean smoker. But really, I wasn't being... Well, I was being mean, but that's because they was messing with me. They knew I was high, and they and I felt like they was trying to blow my high. So I got mad, and I was being mean. But that was their fault. But my daughter asked me to not smoke. And I promised her. I kind of slipped up one time and did smoke and she was sad and mad and she asked me she asked me what a promise is <laughs> I said a promise is something you make to somebody a word like an act or something, your word, an act or something that you make to somebody. And if you don't keep it, you a liar. And after I said that to her, I was like, I'm a liar. Because I promised her I wouldn't smoke no more, but I had this moment of weakness and I, and I did it. And I feel bad. I haven't done it since then. But that's a sacrifice that I made for her. She don't want her mama to smoke, so her mama won't smoke. Even though I be wanting to sometimes. Because I don't really like drinking like that. Just don't like the taste of alcohol. I might drink wine occasionally, but I haven't had no alcohol in about mm, a year and a half since I've been dealing with whatever is going on in my stomach. Uh, I haven't drunk any. So, I'm real sober. Sober as a heart attack, as they say. It get hard. Cause you got to deal with your problem and your feelings head on. You can't suppress them and hide from them for a second or nothing. Hmm. What are you willing to sacrifice? Who in your life is worth making a sacrifice for. Right now, my daughter is all I have, so I make sacrifices for her every day. I sacrifice being in a relationship because as a single mother with a daughter, I don't want to just have anybody around her. 
I don't want to put her in any type of danger. Somebody that might hurt her. So, I sacrificed not dating. Do I get lonely? Yeah, I do. But, I think about her needs. It's more important than my wants. So, I feel like when the time is right, a good man that will love us both and respect us both. Then that'll be my time. But right now it's just not my time for love. Right now it's my time to sacrifice and to be alone and to focus on building this empire for my daughter. I want to leave her something. I don't want to leave her no debt. No car. Well, you know, whatever. A car, I guess, would be nice. But I want to leave her more than that. Um, all these other races is out here leaving their kids, businesses, houses. I don't have a home to leave her. I'm renting an apartment. I have a God bless me and her with another car recently, but that car is like a temporary car. It ain't gonna last till she get old enough to drive. So I gotta sacrifice the things that I want now to build something for her later and whatever's meant for me will be for me and if the person really love me they will they would be patient and wait till I get in the position that I need to be in to be able to date I really don't even like dating being broke. That just it I don't know. It makes me feel weird. I know some girls be like have the dude pay for everything. But even if the dude do pay for everything, I still like to just have money for myself just in case. Like just in case we get out here and I'm not feeling you like the way I feel like I think I am, you know. Then I can pay for my own junk. <laughs> or, you know. When I go on dates, I always drive my own car. Because I just had so many bad experiences. Like, this one dude say he wanted to pick me up take me on a date he picked me up and take me to his house and, and like trying to like touch on me and stuff and i'm like whoa take me home he told my nine nah, ain't taking you home till i'm ready shit like that that's why i always drive my own car i end up walking in some hills some in the it was winter it was cold trying to indicator trying to it was like in the morning so the bus wasn't even running i don't even think i had any money see that's why i don't like dang being broke i need to have some type of cash for situations like that like i had to I was walking to the train station. Thank God somebody saw me walking. 
and dropped me off at the train station. That was also dangerous because that person could have took me on somewhere else and I've been not seen again. But the way my feet was hurting in them heels, I was like, I got to chance it. So thank God he was on my side and that dude just took me to the train station where I asked my sister to come pick me up. She told me no. <laughs> so I had to sleep. I had to sleep at the train station until they opened up. <laughs> Freezing. I never, I never went out on a date again in somebody else's car after that. Never, ever, ever. I just had so many bad experiences with guys. That's another reason why I'm just like, I ain't in no rush anyways. I like my freedom. Somebody asked me, was like, what you mean by freedom? <laughs> when you've been in relationships, when people try to manipulate your mind and control you and pretend, use, use that pretend love to get from you what they want. And then when they get what they want, they treat you like shit. I'm enjoying my freedom. I'm go I'm go love myself. I'm go put into myself what I be putting into these relationships, just put in myself. Cause they always come up when I'm dating them, but I always end up losing. I'm tired of starting over. I can't be doing that with a kid. But sacrifice. Whew. A offering. A offering. What is your offering? It's hard being a parent. You gotta sacrifice time, extra money that you really know you ain't got, but you gotta sacrifice it anyways. You gotta sacrifice relationships and friendships. I mean, I was never, I don't really like, I like going out, but I don't like going out in groups of people. I don't know why. I guess I'm like, claustrophobic. I don't know what it is, but I just don't like being in large groups of people. I like like small intimate settings, I guess, like I don't know. Even though it is a lot of people at the movies, it's like, it's just me and that one person, you know. Even though it's a lot of people that be like at Dave & Buster's. It's just me and that one person and we playing games. I love to play games. So, or drive go-karts. I just, I don't know. I just like that one-on-one -on -one feel. I don't like to be in groups of people. Because I always feel like I end up fading to the back. I don't, especially if it's somebody there that I might not care for. It'll make me not want to participate in the car, the conversations and stuff like that. I just sit there and listen. Because I can't fake it. I can't fake liking people. It be all over my face. <laughs> It'll say, I don't like you. And 
the way I talk to you will say I don't like you. I just, I don't know how to pretend. So, I don't even try. And my mama told me, if you ain't got nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. So, I just be quiet. Just be looking like that. tired you know why i'm tired because i woke up at like four or something this morning and i've been on the go since i i am homeschooling my daughter so even though she got a teacher that she talked to every day, well, Monday through Thursday. She talked to them Monday through Thursday for about an hour, hour and a half. I still got to be there to make sure she know how to, you know, click the microphone thing to talk to her teacher and the camera so the teacher can see her and make sure she focusing. It's so hard trying to make a five-year-old sit and focus in front of the computer. Uh, it's such a headache. But I got to do that. Then we got to do homework every day. I got to do my own homework. I'm in school as well. Got one year left, so I'm trying to get that out the way. I got two more weeks left in this term. Actually, yeah, two more weeks. <sighs> and then trying to make sure I record these videos, make sure I work out, make sure I eat because when I get busy and be doing stuff, I forget to eat. I just, it'll be like 6 o'clock and I'll start feeling dizzy and I'll be like, what is wrong with me? Oh, I haven't ate nothing all day. But my daughter, she ain't ate about three or four times. <laughs> oh, and with me fasting, it's so hard to, especially out here trying to do some deliveries. I really shouldn't be even out here because I'm. I still got like a little limp when I walk. I'm not supposed to be out here walking, but I already sat in this house for like a month with no money. I gotta do some, cause <laughs> I'm not trying to lose my place. I like my apartment. It's very nice. One day I'm a. After I clean up, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna show y'all a tour of my apartment. It's nice. I like it. But oh, sacrificing as a parent, it can get draining sometimes, and especially when you don't feel appreciative. Well, they don't appreciate you like they should every now and then i have to remind my daughter like some of this stuff i do for you i'm not obligated to do it i do it because i love you and when we going through hard times you be a big girl for mommy so I'm sorry, y'all. That cat be in here tearing up my stuff over here, like clawing up my iron. That, like, get out of here. Need my stuff. But yeah. M Malia got her own bed. But for some reason, every night when I wake up, she be in my bed. I be like, ah. <laughs> that 
That's why I got two beds so you can sleep in your bed. So I sacrificed my space, sacrificed my food, <laughs> I sacrificed relationships and friendships because she is all I have and I am all she has. So it's like. You only got one parent. One already abandoned you. So. What I look like. Being gone from you all the time. I already have to work a lot. Just to provide for you. And then when I'm not working. I'm gone. No. I want to give her. I want to be with her. As, as much as I can. When. I'm not doing anything. We just be around each other. We We just go everywhere together. We go and get our nails done together. We go watch movies. Every now and then, like once in a blue moon, I might take her out to a dinner. I just don't like taking her out to eat cuz she in that that um phase where she really don't like to eat and she she be messing over food that be driving me crazy i be like girl when i was your age we didn't have no food in the house starving and you be wasting food it be it be aggravating me it be aggravating my soul but i can't force her to eat because she ain't gonna eat it she just go leave it somewhere and I don't like bugs. So just gotta chuck it up. I can't have no roaches. I can't have no bugs in my house. Cause little fire rolls is storing food somewhere cause they don't wanna eat it. But What's the sacrifice that you have to make to get to the next level? My next sacrifice is sleep. <laughs> oh, it is sleep. And I did good today. I got up at five. And I haven't taken a nap. Usually I've been in took a nap for at least like an hour or somewhere in between by now. But I haven't taken a nap. Uh, and I feel good. I think it's because of these, uh, these new vitamins that I got. I think it's called Ollie. Yeah, I got the, I got the focus. It's supposed to help you with your brain and focus and stuff because... I got a real bad problem with focusing. I don't know if I got like ADD or something, but it's so hard to focus for me. But it's been it's been helping me focus. And the other one is um, energy. So I have had some energy. So. I feel like this working out is is working. I look skinnier in here already. Like my face, it looks so fat like on other pictures, but now look like I'm getting my model face back. <laughs> Don't mind me, y'all. I'm silly. But yeah, my next sacrifice is sleep. Like Steve Harvey say. If you sleeping until 8 o'clock, you already have missed out on money. So, all the successful people, they wake up around 4 or 5, work out, start their day. So, that's what I'm trying to get in the habit of waking up. So, I'm just going to... My body naturally wakes up at 5 o'clock every day because of the job that I previous had. I had to wake up like 4 or 5 o'clock to get to work in time because my job was like an hour away. But 
I'm going to set my alarm to ensure that I wake up at 5 o'clock on a dot every day. Because uh, sometimes I wake up at 5 and I force myself to stay in the bed to like 8. Because that's when I got to get up and make sure Malia talk to her teacher. But I'm going to get out of that. I'm going to wake up at 5. I'm going to work out, take a shower, get dressed. Try to do my homework before she talk to her teacher. So that way my homework will be out of the way. And I can do these recordings and not have to worry about trying to do homework afterwards <sighs> I washed my hair this morning you guys and my hair is still wet ain't that crazy well it's not too wet but just a little it's a little down I'm crazy Whew. but yeah thank y'all for coming in this been 30 minutes with Nikki. Oh, wow, wow. <laughs> Let me stop. I'm just messing with y'all. This been 30 and 30. Uh, 30 and 30. If that happens, 30 minutes and 30. Dang. I don't know. My mind be all over the place. With Nikki on. Y'all like how that sound, Nikki on. I'm about to get a, a license plate that say that. Ah. Custom plate, y'all. But I see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to go work out. Get this makeup off my face. And uh, I guess eat something and go to sleep. Maybe I should eat before I work out. I don't know. But I'm tired, y'all. So... I'm out of here. Good night. Peace.